up, Team Pineapple Team, Pineapple Yes, 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 yes. This is welcome, welcome, welcome to Pineapple TV, Pineapple TV. Yes, this is life, this is life. Let's be kind. Let's be kind. And right here to the left is the quick queen for the win, win, win. And as always, always, we following the vibes. We flowing with the vibes. And you know what those vibes are? Kindness. kindness. Practicing kindness and flowing with the love. Flowing with the love. And today, we're going with the, not kindness, but we're going to correlate with kindness. It's being how to be dateable. How to be dateable. Mm. Number deuce. Number two. Number two. And yesterday, I believe it was practice not talking about you. Oh, yes. Practice not talking about you. And today is going to be, please, please, no creepy vibes. No creepy vibes. And see, right here in this realm, this area, we're focusing on the guys uh, pursuing women. Because women, they're the ones who have the value. You see? Women are the ones we are pursuing. So we're coming from, or I am, coming from the viewpoint, the perspective of us pursuing women. Because women is the reason why men do everything. Literally. Literally, 99.9% .9 of all of our actions are based off of women. Whether it's getting a, get a better car, whether it's uh, getting a bigger home, fancy things, whatever it may be, it's to attract women. So that's why we are doing this, is how to be dateable, how to be dateable. And this is, for the first 10 days, it's going to be about the pre-date before you're actually on the date. So today is, please, 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 do not have creepy vibes, right? And women who are watching this, you're gonna be thinking to yourself, absolutely, amen, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. <laughs> because there are so many guys out there who have creepy vibes, and do you know why that is? Most men are socially awkward. Most men, do not know how to speak to women because they do not know how to engage people in general. Mm -hmm. See, that's the reason why you're gonna be coming here is so you can actually start getting some relevant information so you can build your skills and repertoire so you can actually be able to practice and articulate the feelings that you have so you can find, not, not find, but court the woman that you would like to date, you see? So we're gonna throw it over here to the quick and quick for the win, 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 as to how to not have creepy vibes or to take from a woman's perspective, how she knows that you're not just, you're not here to actually date her, you're there for more reasons, which are the physical ones. And women, for the most part, unless you have a lot of money, care a lot and they're like, oh, I don't want none of that. So, Quint. Mm, um, when you start flirting in, in, in a way where it's uh, sexual, and especially when I don't even know who you are. Right? Yeah. So, a lot of guys, what they do is they just shoot, 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 shoot. And that's okay. That's okay. That approach works eventually. That approach works eventually. But when you come to quality or whatnot, it shoots away and it pushes away a lot of quality individuals, a lot of quality women who will not stand for the sexual innuendos or the sexual approaches or advances when they don't know you. You're not safe. So why would they be accepting of that? Right? Right, yes. Yeah. So, so how, how would you say that you, uh, you uh, know that's their objective? Mm. What are two ways that men approach you and you're just like, oh, no, I already know. Um, in the past where they're just too close to me physically, uh -huh. right? Um, and then asking me questions like if I'm in a relationship. There it goes, there it goes. <laughs> are you in a relationship? Oh, okay, you know, and uh, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember, but yeah. Like, if, if, if the conversation is going towards dating, then I feel like we're not getting to know each other on, like, a personal level. It's just you're trying to find out if I'm single or not. And then, yeah, your body language. Just, 
when I'm near you and your body language is like, I don't know, it's just very uncomfortable and it's super creepy. Right? Mm -hmm. And see, for a, for a majority of guys out there, the approach to be aggressive, the approach to be uh, the first one to take the initiative, the first one to take the, the necessary step, it's great. It's great. Um, I'm not even going to hate on any of that because it's going to work on a lot of women, which is okay. And that's the goal. But for some, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But for the, I'm going to be speaking to the gentlemen who are gentlemen and they want a softer approach. They want to be able to come off as gentlemen yeah. and make women feel comfortable, feel safe. And once you develop that rapport, then you make that advance or you make it known. And if they don't feel the same way afterwards, hey, that's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to give you three things. Three things. Three tips on how to not have creeper vibes and how to not, how to not be that jerk. Right? First one. First one. Do nothing flirty. <laughs> right? Un un unless you have a lot of money. Unless you um, are super, what do we say? Uh, when you have that personality, flashy, but you have a lot of money and. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's more of a. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Unless unless you have a lot of money or you don't have that. Uh, what is it like Filter. Rico Suave when oh. you're very charismatic? Oh. See, <laughs> you don't have the charisma. You know, just stay away from those type of advances. Second thing is, be a safe place. Be a safe place. You see, one thing that I know is that instead of being put into the friend zone, you could listen. Mm. You see, a lot of women are very expressful. Women love to express. They love to share. They love to chat. And see, as, as a man, our job is just to be the broad shoulders, the strong foundation, and be able to just listen. You see, that will make a woman feel safe. See, as a man, it is our job to not say anything or very little. It's just to let a, man, a, a woman just express everything she, that she wants and to make her feel understood, make her feel like she's listened to. That's it. That's it. That is not going to put you in the friend zone. Putting you in the friend zone is being too damn agreeable. You know, putting you in the friend zone. Uh, what she may do is being like a pushover, not having an opinion. Mm -hmm. You see, you need to know when to stand your ground, when to uh, basically, yeah, stand your ground, have an opinion on certain things and not be so agreeable. And that just comes with basically having principles and having a belief system, which I can cover later on, later on. And the third thing, Again, it's a repeat of the number one. Do nothing sexual. Mm -hmm. Do not get in close proximity. Because remember, this, you guys are just meeting for the first time. Or you guys are just meeting from friends of friends. If the chemistry is there, it's great. Then that bridges the gap. Mm -hmm. But if you want to court a woman or whatnot, the best thing you can do is just act. Act. Like you're not interested and it's not even a game because you got other things going on in your life. You see, you, you got work, you got your own personal issues, you know, taking care of yourself, self-love, practicing and whatnot. And you probably have other engagements in your life that occupy your time. So if they fit, they fit. If not, it's okay. It's okay. But do not put a woman that you don't know as the priority to try to win or court because... In the end, a lot of people are going to disappoint. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to disappoint you. And the reason being is most people are not that great. They look great. Mm -hmm. People look great. But when you start to uncover who they are, most people are shallow. So don't get disappointed. Just flow and just know your value and be a safe place. Be a safe place. So we're going to run it down again. Three things to be dateable. And number two is, for guys, for guys, do not have creeper vibes. One, do not, 
you know, get super close proximity. Do not ask questions about are you single or whatnot because that is way too aggressive. You know, you could ask a different question, which would be, you know, when you're asking somebody uh, uh, if they're single or not, how would be a different way to ask be? Like on Valentine's Day, oh, yeah. uh, there was a friend of ours named Leah. Yes. So it was Valentine's Day. She goes, oh, Valentine's Day is coming up. So what are you and your boyfriend doing? See? Assuming. They assume they had somebody, but if somebody doesn't have anyone, then... Then they'll say, oh, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Like, not. I don't have one, and I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. but it's, it's assuming that they have someone, and then let them reveal... You know, their reaction will reveal if they're really with someone or not. Exactly. Yeah. That's one level. Here goes two levels deeper than that, which is actually great. One of the ways is, you know, I see you, and I see the way you carry yourself, and I see the way you move. You know, you're very, very strong. So I, I, I'm curious, how long have you been this strong? How long have you been this independent? <laughs> you see? And normally, they'll be like, what do you mean? Like, you, you seem like you're not with somebody because you're so strong. You see? <laughs> and that will lead into another conversation. Right? There it goes, there it goes. So again, so again, number two on how to, uh, how to be dateable, how to be dateable. <laughs> Don't have the creeper vibes, you know? Do not have the creeper vibes. Do the thinking up here and feel from here. Ignore down here, <laughs> you see? Because down here gets us into a lot of trouble yeah. and makes very, very... I want to say irrational decisions. You see, so let's avoid that. Mm. Let's think here because we're we ha we're we're gentlemen of depth, and let's feel from here. Ignore down here because we want to get quality women, not just anybody that we can just sleep with. You see, because if that's who you are, there, there's lots of things to get those things. But if you really want to find the woman that you want to be with, come here, come here. So with that said, with that said, always, always thankful, thankful for Miss Quinkle Queen for the win, 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 for uh, sharing her wisdom and her vibes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Always, always love from us to you. Hella smiles. Please, please, please keep spreading the laugh, the love, and the vibes that you have. Please keep going, keep going. And remember, you have the value. You have the value. You don't need to cater to other people, you know. Be strong, be strong, and stay magical. Mwah.